Well, this is a bit of an interesting situation. Bardwell, the FPV know-it-all, kind of really does know it all. And I have to give a bit of an apology because he was right. He was absolutely right. And in this video, I don't know if that actually matters though. G'day, Stu from UAV Futures. And if you've been into FPV, unless you live under a rock, there is absolutely no way you don't know the legend Bardwell himself. Him and I have been in FPV for a long time and he is genuinely a fantastic person who loves the hobby and wants to help it grow and share FPV experiences. Recently, he reviewed these. Now these kind of are a goggle I use all the time. These are the Walksnail cheap digital option. It's about 200 bucks. You can get up, get flying, and it marries up perfect to a little craft like this. I watched his review uh, and he said some things like this, which really left me scratching my head. Oh, it's not latency, but it almost feels like there's latency. It's like there's latency. It's the latency of this display. It's the latency of the latency. And it feels, late. it feels like there's additional latency. It's just the latency, the latency issue, which I have not currently. When I watched that and him talking about the latency feels horrible, I thought, no, Bardwell, that can't be right. What are you talking about? I fly with these things all the time. So I did a little bit of an investigation. So that's what you're gonna see right now with the help of one of my viewers on the live stream. We're gonna be talking about the latency of these. We're gonna go out and we're also gonna be talking about like HD zero and the 90 Hertz camera. And if you're wanting to get into FPV, you wanna know what is the best digital system, you need to watch this video because there are some huge caveats that are, unless you really have them side by side like you're about to see in this video, might make or break a system for you. So let's go do that and uh, show you some of the cutting edge, low latency stuff compared to the walk snail in three, two, one. Radio out here in the field. This is the one I am so excited for. Yes, it's about a year late, but let's do it. This is my HD Zero experiences. I've tried every single goggle out there. Big shout out, we got Chris in the background for uh, letting me borrow his HD Zero goggles. We're gonna rip it around and find out what's it like, what's the latency, what is the picture like, and really, who is this for? It's a little bit windy, but let's do it. Scream some quads around and have a good time. So straight off the bat, uh, putting on my face, I've got to say, very comfortable, uh, a really big screen, probably a bigger field of view than I was expecting. I don't know why I thought that'd be a little bit smaller. Lots of focus options, and I got to say, I am blown away with like the menu here. It looks like there is so much stuff to go through. I have to do a big deep dive another time on all these options, but such a more intuitive looking menu. Like if you need specifics, this looks like it's got you covered. And I absolutely love the little slide switch at the side, like just a toggle to let me know if the if it is on or off. So a uh, big fan of that, but let's do it. I wanna test this latency and see what it's like. Now remember, I've flown an awful lot of DJI. I have done HD Zero in the past, but it's been some of those older cameras, uh, like the Emacs ones. I've never used these goggles, and I've also been flying around an awful lot on walks now. So I'm really, really interested to find out what this is like. So let's do it. And I'm also using a different radio. So hopefully Chris, Chris has his arm switch on the wrong side, but uh, we can work with that. Let's do it and uh, start this DVR now. You said you've got this hooked up to a backpack feature where it'll yep. start recording on the radio. Yep. All right, so just gonna go for a bit of a general cruise here. First, I'm gonna talk about the picture. Um, look, it's obviously not gonna be as good as DJI, and I would say Walk Snail is still better than this as well, but what I'm really interested in is how it's gonna handle breakup and also the latency. Let's go for a bit of a punch here. Now, Chris said mo most pilots, would you say, fly this at the race where you go? There is probably a mix 50-50-ish Okay, now. what's the other half use? Analog. Yep. Does <laughs> anybody ever come to a race event with um, with any other digital systems other than this? Not anymore. <laughs> we used it for a while. And what, what, what did you switch for? Uh, is this easier just to run everything on HD Zero? Okay, with the yeah. bands and things like that. All right. Yeah, and not worrying about the DJI transmitting back. Yes, okay. Which was... All right, now in terms of latency, maybe I'm not the world's fastest pilot to be able to notice this difference. I'm sure people talk about it for a reason, but I actually, in terms of latency and not noticing too much of a difference, what I'm really interested to do as well in this video is I'm gonna jump back and forth between the Walk Snail Goggles L, which have a higher latency apparently, and also by using the LCD screen, like even a, maybe an internal latency in the display as well. Um, I'm, in terms of like breakup, I really like how it's handling it. It's probably, it's a similar style, I feel like to how analog breaks up. It's much more easier to fly through the snow. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come and land the quad 
and jump straight over to walk snail and i think there i'm going to notice the picture difference and the latency difference uh if ever there was some so let's do that you've got your arm switch on the left right yep uh, okay. that's the 90 hertz camera okay so that's yeah. about as good as i can expect on latency the yep. fastest camera 90 hertz yep. and on these goggles like yep. the native ht zero goggles all right all right look so i've flown walk snail a, a lot and i will say the hc zero goggles on my face this is like a much more immersive experience but i did feel more zoned in on looking at like that four by three picture that i have there so obviously hc zero is made for racing and that's why so many pilots use it i'm going to just turn my quad chris so i don't crash into you You know what? I can feel the latency between jumping between those two. So I fly this thing around an awful lot. It's probably one of my favorite, it actually is my favorite quad that I have ever flown. And I have to admit, I didn't think I was gonna feel it as much uh, as other people had said. But yeah, cruising this thing around, especially after coming from HD Zero, like when I first tried HD Zero, it felt exactly the same and everything that I'm sort of used to. Both are on 25 milliwatts at the moment, so we've got the same power levels and everything like that. But I can feel it, like when I'm rocking the quad from left to right, I can feel that latency. So that 90 hertz camera uh, really must have been making a difference when it comes to cruising this thing around. I did not expect this. And I can 100% now realize what people were talking about i mean you you get used to it it's not so, it's sort of like if you have something that needs to be trimmed a little bit to the left and you don't have the ability to do so you learn to compensate or if your car is pulling a little bit to the right when you're driving you sort of learn to compensate by uh well you should go to the mechanic but you know what i mean it, it gets sorted you get used to it but cruising this thing around it i don't notice it so much anymore it's just when i think back to the latency difference between this and hd zero uh it does make a big difference yeah okay i thought people were uh sort of just blowing a bit of hype up about hd zero but it's a uh, it's significant i mean for most everyday pilots it's not going to make too much of a difference but if you're into racing a big difference big difference i would want hd zero on board if i wanted to win races now in terms of picture quality though um the breakup I like how that was handled on HD Zero, but on Walk Snail, I would give this like an eight out of 10, but the HD Zero picture is like more closer to like six and a half, six, six and a half. So the picture on Walk Snail is a lot nicer. Uh, two very different systems. What I'm gonna do again, I'm gonna bring it in and try also uh, a different camera. Like I think it is the HD Zero Eco. Is that what it is, Chris? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so we've got a little whoop board as well, just to see if I can uh, notice some of those latencies. And I know, we do have race modes and things you can put on walk snail but um on these goggles on its settings that it currently is it's definitely more a cinematic immersive experience but let's jump over to hd zero again and uh see if we can notice that even with uh the non 90 hertz camera so with the eco camera and btx let me just bring this in actually i can probably land this in my bag oh I probably just bag. missed <laughs> well the biggest thing is people don't know latency until you switch between it like you just did yeah that's exactly right so i don't know if that came through on the camera but yeah you don't know this you think it's fine and then you switch and you fly one system directly after the other and you do notice so uh very interesting because your brain is pretty good at understanding the differences and getting used to it so all right now this is the eco cam and who doesn't like getting a bit of extra bonus content uh over on my patreon there is a full breakdown a full discussion with chris but in the interest of keeping this video on youtube a little bit shorter essentially the eco cam it felt much more comparable to walk snail unlike the 90 hertz system but a little bit of a bonus for me if you would like to help support the channel and get some bonus videos for you that's going to be linked down below and your support really does make a difference and it is greatly appreciated. Sorry, I crashed your drone, Chris. Here in the studio, here's the part you need to know. Did I notice it? Absolutely. Was it worth it? For me, I mean, HD Zero goggles are not only very, very expensive, but that aside, feature set aside, unless you are into racing, I don't know how much I really notice it. The best analogy I can ever give, right, is this picture on a walk snail, in my opinion, is significantly better than what you're gonna get with the HD Zero system. However, I can't believe it, there really was latency. I just never noticed it before. And my best analogy is, if you're swimming around in the pool, 
that's like wearing these things. You know, you're used to it, your body's like, oh, it's not so cold in here, or whatever, no big deal. However, that moment before you jump and dive into the pool when you're going from the outside air temperature into the pool and your body sort of goes into shock and you can really notice it, that's what it's like when you have HD0. HD0 is before you even get in the pool. So there's no latency, the temperature feels fine. You jump in the pool and oh my gosh, there's a bit of a shock, you can notice the latency. However, if you value picture and I guess like for me, a system that can sort of do it all, this is once you're swimming around in that pool, you don't really notice latency it too much. Unless you're a hardcore racer, my recommendation would be choose the system that is going to be best for you. What are you into? What do you like? And uh, for me, ultimately, like a decent picture quality and small form factors really is why I like walks now. I know we also have the new DJI system coming out somewhere. It's probably not live at the time of this video. But yeah, overall, I gotta say, shout out to Bardwell because without that, I would never have investigated it so far to say, hey, these two systems side by side, I really can tell the difference. So big shout out to the know-it-all right there. Big shout out to Chris Croft. Um, if you wanna join my live stream, that's gonna be down below. And I'm also, if you're watching this far, uh, a little shout out to my patrons because you know they help me support this channel. But 